Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelsey, I'm a brand designer and graphic designer, and today I'm so excited to dive deeper into my brand strategy approach. One huge aspect of this is looking at a brand persona. I'm gonna share all the details on how to create your own brand persona throughout my video today and how it can just be beneficial for you to utilize when creating your brand. I have developed this process after going to school for graphic design and then working as a freelancer that has worked on many different brand design projects. And having that individual that you can visualize is so important to create that strong foundation and to understand who you are speaking to. We're going to cover a variety of different sections today, how to nail down these aspects with your brand persona and what I personally look for when I'm creating one for my clients. And you'll be able to learn all the tips and tricks that I do. Feel free to jump around the sections down below. Otherwise, we're gonna just jump right into it to the first section. start with talking about the demographics for this brand persona. There's a whole variety of a list that I'm, I have that I'll walk through today, but basically I want to give examples along the way when we are thinking about this user and completely build one custom with you. Basically what I need to do with that then is describe what my brand is going to be about. I'm going to say that I'm creating an online plant shop. This is going to be utilized as an option to Get the right plants for your home based on a quiz customized for you, on the lighting that's within your home, the commitment you want to have to these plants, and your past history with plants as well, and if you want to progress in the journey with it or if you just want some easy plants to use too. So that's the background of my plant shop. Diving into the demographics, we first look at their age. So. For my example, I'm gonna say that the user is 28. They have an income level of 75K. They are female. Their profession is an accountant. They live in Scottsdale and their marital status is single. Within the section, we're looking at their age, their income, their gender, their profession, where they live and their marital status. This all helps us to begin to form what this user looks like and get the, an idea of them in your head. Going to begin to look at what are their pain points for her she is struggling with a work-life balance and she wants to figure out how she can make that a little more accessible some days are longer with being accountant some are shorter so it's a variety of her being at home and being in her space and also being away and being at work how could these pain points apply to your brand well with her of course she doesn't know when she's gonna be home. So she's not sure how much she can water. That's a factor with her plants. She also isn't sure if she has a great time commitment to them because she'll be away for long periods of time for hours. And just overall, she doesn't wanna to have to always be focusing on these plants. We are going to list all these aspects and keep them in her profile. How can you solve them? We are going to solve them at the plant shop by offering plant solutions that are most customized to her. She is going to have a quiz that allows her to lay all these aspects in and then before she makes her purchases on these plants, she'll be able to confirm that they are going to work with her lifestyle in these aspects. This way, we're making it accessible to her. We're creating a solution just customized to her individual approach and overall should create a happy user experience. Next section, communication channels. We're going to look at what their favorite social is, how they get online, how you'll connect with them, how you will continue to attract them to your brand or business and how they can find out about you. First up for social, she really is enjoying TikTok. She loves to watch these in her downtime. She gets online through using her phone a lot. We'll connect with them by creating TikTok videos then and creating a space for aspects to connect when it comes to video formats. So when we are creating newsletters, we're going to make sure we're implementing TikToks into these and just quick videos on tips and tricks when it comes to caring for your plants and how to find the right one for you in your space and also just forming these with interior design as well. We'll continue to attract the clients and audience and individuals like this one by creating a platform on TikTok and just having a variety of content that is appropriate for her as a user. Next, 
we have consumer interests slash values. Where do they shop? What are their favorite brands? What do they value? For her, we're going to say that she shops at Target, she shops at Whole Foods, and she also has a subscription to Misfits. She has favorite brands that include Madewell, Warby Parker, and Beha's Shoes. And she values shopping local and sustainability, a combination of the two, which is great. So knowing this information, we can partner with local aspects in her community to make sure that we are pairing with great ceramic pots that can be paired with our plants and used in that aspect and also maybe service providers that can help water her plants if she ever goes out of town and other interior designers that might be local to her community that could help her create a unique space for her. Lastly, we want to visualize this individual so we can give them a name. I'm going to name her Nora Smithfield. You can go ahead and write a short summary of who they are as well, what they're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and put a couple sentences to describe her as well. We are going to go ahead and pull an imagery that could best represent her, or just give us an idea of what she looks like as a person. You can use platforms like Unsplash or Envato Elements for this aspect. And then we're going to place this all in this graphic to wrap up and have for reference moving forward. You can continue to utilize this method for multiple personas. I typically create a minimum of three when it comes to my clients, so we have a variety to visualize. And of course, we are not going to have one individual that's going to be the exact same across the board, but having multiples that have a variety of interests and pain points and approaches that we can resonate with and empathize with and just connect with will be great to visualize moving forward. I like to keep this graphic handy when I'm making these brand choices moving forward and just continue to utilize throughout the whole brand lifespan. That's a wrap on this brand persona. Thanks for creating this one with me. I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any comments or questions down below. I'm always happy to help. Stay tuned. There will be a Instagram post live with this as well. So you can visit my profile if you want some just quick key points on it as well and a blog post to come soon too so i will link those down below if they were alive otherwise i will see you in my next video thanks so much for watching and we'll talk soon